And Dr. Ketrick Pickering has raised concerns about the depositing of sediments on the seabed in the King Garden Bay area. This he noted while making reference to a study of the area by a Miami-based organization that warned of severe implications by further depositing of sediment in the area. Speaking during the second leg of government's on-the-road meetings, the minister responsible for natural resources said any continued deposit of sediments into King Garden Bay Beach will negatively impact tourism activity in that area, and he announced plans to create a filtering system to reduce the impact. If the coral reef dies, then it starts to fall apart. When that happens, the natural barrier for the ground swells is lost. And that therefore means that the ground seas that we've had in the last couple of weeks won't be breaking outside, they'll be breaking on the beach. That happens, the sand will continually be washed away, and pretty soon, there'll be nothing left because the beach will be destroyed. And uh, that study basically pointed out that if this situation goes unchecked, then the whole King Garden Bay, the economy of King Garden Bay could virtually be destroyed in the not too distant future. And so I met with a, a couple of persons in the King Garden Bay area and we walked from the wedding up to the other point up there, and we looked at all the relevant areas where the guts come down from the hill. Two things are really critical. We've got to ensure that we create some sediment ponds to allow for the runoff to be able to settle instead of running directly into the bay. Because what has essentially happened is that we've destroyed most of the ponds in this area. The ponds are the natural filter for the beaches. And so we have employed an engineer to look at some of the potential areas in King Garden Bay, including one just outside this area here, where we can recreate at least some temporary holding areas for the water runoff. Dr. Pickering also disclosed the coming on stream of a national beach policy to guide the management of beaches in the territory. We have a draft policy. We reviewed it within the ministry, but I've told them that the, it, was, it was too much detail for what we are trying to achieve at this point in time. And so we're working to help modify it in a way that it would be able to be practical because I'm sure most people would agree that the present situation that we have on the King Garden Bay is going to continue unabated and likely to get more and more to control to our own detriment. But the beach policy that we are creating in the ministry is not only for King Garden Bay. It is for the management of all beaches in the entire British Virgin Islands. And one of the problems I certainly had with it as minister is that it was looking to trying to correct all of the problems on King Garden Bay without being forward thinking in its approach. And so we're working diligently to modify that beach policy and hopefully in the not too distant future we would have something to present to the public for the, own, for the public's consumption and feedback. In 2011, concerns were raised about the damages to the watershed in the King Garden Bay area, as well as the beach as a result of direct drainage into the sea. Approximately 20 tourism-based businesses operate in King Garden Bay.